Hello everyone, this is Zhi Mao Fan, and I want to present the proposed paper as UNET, Swing Transformer with UNET for Image Denoising. I'm a graduate student from the Department of Electrical Engineering at National Zhongxin University, Taiwan. This is our online. We are first going to the introduction and explain the proposed method and architecture. Then we will discuss the experiments, include some visual results and performance. And finally, I will conclude our work in the end. So we start with the section of introduction. Image denoising belongs to an EOPOS problem and has been a long-standing issue. We can also see image denoising as a mapping problem, like mapping the input noise images in Y domain to noise-free images in X domain. On the contrary, we man manually generate the synthesized noise such as AWGN by the following formula where d of x means the degradation function and n represents the additive noise. So far, image denoising still plays an important role at the preprocess of high-level vision tests to improve the results. And contributions of this paper can be summarized as following. First, we propose a denoising architecture improving from an image segmentation swing unit model called SUNet. Second, we propose a new upsample method which comprise both subpixel and bilinear interpolation to prevent checkerboard artifacts. Third, to the best of our knowledge, our model is the first one to incorporate swing transformer and UNET in denoising. And we demonstrate the competitive results on both quantitative scores and visual results. And we are going to introduce the proposed architecture as UNET. The whole denoising architecture of SUNET is shown in this figure, which can briefly be divided in three parts. SUNet has three parts. Shadow feature extraction module, UNet feature extraction module, and reconstruction module. We use the convolution layer with kernel 3 to extract the input noisy image Y and get the shadow feature, which contains the low frequency information. Then, passing to the UNet backbone with the depth of four layers, which is body network. After generating the representation of noise-free feature, which means deep feature, we simply use the 3x3 three three convolution layer to reconstruct the denoise image by the deep feature. And then we are going to illustrate the components of body network, which is UNet feature extraction module. For the body network, there are mainly three important elements. Swing transformer layer STL in swing transformer block STB. Patch merging down simply and propose dual upsampling. Next, we are going to introduce them one by one in details. The Swing Transformer was presented in last year, which also earned the ICCB 2021 Best Paper Award. The Swing Transformer used self-attention mechanism, focusing on the small patches instead of whole features greatly reducing the disadvantages of transformer which the computational complexity is too high. Moreover, it keeps the advantages similar with convolutions such as translation invariance, rotation invariance, and learning the local information of images. 
depends on the strong ability of feature extraction. We replace the convolution layer in traditional UNet to the Swin Transformer block. It should be noticed that because of the shift window design in Swin Transformer, a Swin Transformer layer in block have to the multiple of two. For the down sample method in SUNet, we follow the aforementioned image segmentation model Swin UNet, which is patch merging down sampling, as shown below. The operation of patch merging is same as the pixel unshuffle with the convolution with kernel size of 1. For the up sample method in our model, because the original Swin UNet used patch expanding up sampling method, which is equivalent to transpose convolution. However, the transpose convolution usually happens the block effect, or called trackable artifacts, which seriously influence the denoise performance. So, we propose the upsampling model called dual upsampling, which comprises well known upsampling methods, which is bilinear and pixel shuffle, to present the trackable artifacts caused from transpose convolution. And here is the architecture of proposed dual upsampling module. As for the loss function, we use mean absolute error, which code L1 loss to optimize our model end-to-end -end fashion, like this formula, where x hat and x denote the denoise image and noise-free reference image, which means Guangshu, respectively. Let's go to the experiment section. Now, we are going to introduce the data set. We use DIV2K, which is original proposed for super resolution data set, containing 800 high definition images with average resolution of 1920 by 1080 for training set. And we randomly crop 100 patches with size of 256 by 256 for each image. And randomly add AWGN to the patches with noise level from sigma equal 5 to 50, which means our SUNet is a blind image denoising model. For the validation set, we use the validation set in DIV2K with 100 images and adding AWGN with three different certain noise levels, sigma equal 10, 30, and 50. For the testing datasets, we test on CBSD68 and Codec24 datasets, which are widely used for evaluating the performance of models. Both of them are color image dataset, and we add certain Gaussian noise levels, which are sigma equal 10, 30, and 50, which same as the validation set. Then we calculate the average PSNR and SISIN values among the data set. According to the result table, we could observe three things. First, our SUNet has competitive SSIN value in both CBSD68 and Codec24. Because Swim Transformer is based on the global information, which makes the denoise images more perceptually faithful. Second, compared to the UNet based models such as DHDN and RDUNet, the proposed SUNet has 40% less parameters 
and has 97% less probes among the three models and keep good scores on both PSNR and SSIM. Last, compare with the conventional CNN-based model like DNCN, IRCN, and FFDNet. We have the best PSNR and SSIM results among them along with almost the same flows. And note that our probes are tested on the image size of 256 by 256 with GTX 1080 Ti. Here is a visual result image from CBSD 68 and the input noisy image has the noise level with sigma equal 50. And you can see that our SUNet has the best PSNR values and run up SSIM scores. And this feature displays the denoised result comparing with other methods in Codec 24 dataset. And it also has the noise level with sigma equal 50. Due to the page limitation, we don't put the experimental table about dual upsampling in our paper. So this table explains the proposed dual upsample module can indeed reduce the trackable artifacts caused from the transpose convolution. We can see the visual result of original image segmentation model in UNET which has a seriously checkable artifact. At the first time, we thought it is block effects caused from the JPEG format of training data, where the default page size of swing transformer is set to 8, which is equal to the size of quantization matrix in JPEG compression. So we train and other models with PNG format to ameliorate the block effects. However, the block effects still happen. Therefore, we infer this artifact is caused from the transpose convolution upsampling. We respectively train the models with different upsample methods such as bilinear, subpixel, and our proposed dual upsample model. Finally, we chose the proposed dual upsampling as our upsample fashion in SUNet because both quantitative scores and visual performance are the best. Finally, the section of conclusion. To conclude our presentation, we present the SUNet architecture, which is based on the screen transformer and achieve the competitive result on image denoising. And we propose the dual upsample module to avoid the checkerboard artifact. And because we think the potential of screen transformer still deserving to be expected in the future, we are going to improve the feature extraction block based on swing transformer. Furthermore, our future works will also attempt more complex restoration tests such as real-world noise and real-world motion blur. Thank you for attending my presentation and have a good day.